Where are you, Tanisha? I see. Oh my gosh, you know how long I've been here since I hung up the phone? <laughs> it's Instagram. It is. It said for connection. It was a. Oh man. I don't know. And I think maybe they might have a lot of people on also at this time. Yeah. Okay. I'm kind of low. I, I don't have my cushion tonight. <laughs> oh, yeah, me neither. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so thirsty, so high, dehydrated. I don't know. Busy work, right? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. You going to do the intro? Yeah. Welcome to the Snazzy Lives. It's 8 o'clock. Oh, it's 8.01. I'll be late. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Snazzy Lifestyle Podcast. I'm Keisha B. And I'm Tanisha Miller. Happy Sunday, guys. Yes, happy Sunday. Thank you guys for tuning in today. Hope you guys enjoyed your day. Enjoy your weekend and end your week as well. Yes. Um, what you did this weekend? This weekend, <laughs> um, we actually, you know, so we, we've we explored, like, nightlife. So, you know, it's like, okay, we conquered that. We need to find something else to do because it's kind of like we like, okay, we don't have to go outside no more. <laughs> now we're ready to regroup back inside, like, you know, because we did everything. But I said... Let's just see. Let's try something different. And we did. We found um, this nice place where they only serve, like, wine. It's, it's like a wine bar. Yeah, it's called Vino. It? It's, it's like a tiki thing. They call it, like, something like well, a... Well, no, it was very elegant, kind of like, you know, you get to, like, taste different. They have flights. You could taste different wine. And they have... Oh, old, man, you come out here drunk. 200 bottles of wine, like, old, new, modern. You can pick old, old, like, 1938 bottles. Mm. Or you can pick like you know um let's say 1999 and then you right. have like you know modern and it was really nice so what and did you so, pick what, what did you drink? we had a sangria um we had a sang we just had a sangria because they make natural sangria they make it right there really and she said that you know this one had a lot of wine and it was really good we had a white sangria oh, okay. and i said next time we go back we'll do the flight <laughs> and try different you know, different ones. Right, different years and stuff, and right, like how dry it is, and this and that. And yes, <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. so did you guys say like swirl the wine? Yes, yeah, swirl it around, <laughs> sip yeah. it, and they sell cheese there. You know, oh, so okay, cheese, um, the chatuary boards. That makes you can sense. get all of that stuff there to go with the wine. So it was nice, and it's so weird. The reason why I guess we didn't do everything because we couldn't believe that we've been down there at least I don't know eight times, nine times, and we never seen it. Oh, uh, okay. I bypassed that. Like, we really? bypassed it. And she says a lot of people say that because where they're located. Yeah. So it was nice. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Even though I'm not a wine drinker, I do like white wine. You tell me white wine is not the best wine to drink, though. <laughs> no, white. I like red wine. White. I used to love white wine. I told you this story until yeah. I found out that it just made me gain weight like this, like overnight. But Give me a good red wine because these red wines taste disgusting. They taste Merlot. bitter. Wow. You like Merlot? Uh, if I can't remember, <laughs> I can't remember. When we hook up, when I see you, I'll, yeah, I'll have some wines. Merlot. We'll do some wine tasting. Okay. So the Merlot, is it like all the same across the board, you know? So Merlot is like a little dry, but a little, just a little, little bit of sweet. Like I don't like sweet wine. Okay, I need something that tastes like fruit punch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, so you like sweet wine. Yeah. You like sweet wine. Okay, so you like that bitter one. Yeah, not too bitter, right. but in between. Ah, okay. So they have a Cabernet. A Cabernet is like bitter. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but a lot that's of people... Why like, I, that's why I like white wine, because to me it tastes more like a champagne. Right. And yeah, it's, it's like lighter to me. It is. It, well, it goes down really light. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you actually... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's true. Oh, that's cool. <clears throat> I had too much. Um, We went out. We went for breakfast and stuff. And we, we saw this nice garden, like something different, like yeah. you said. 
we went to a nice garden. It was so nice out there. The flowers and the water and like the water oh, I love and everything. That. Yeah, it was very nice, you know. And I'm not a, like a nature person. I don't like trees and it's so all funny. that stuff. I'm not a nature person. All that. Mm -mm. I love nature. But flowers, I'm good with. Wow. I'm not no nature. Not the words and the trees and all that. Yeah, but out here, you know, they change, you know, I have been changed for nature out here because, you know, you only could do certain things because you don't want to get ate by crocodiles and stuff. So <laughs> my love for nature has changed since I moved to Florida. Just a tad bit. <laughs> yep. Just a tad bit. Wow. Yep. Lucky you. I hate you it. Just go where they say you could go. You know, the places that they say that right. you could know, go to. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. But nah, the, the bugs, I'm good with. The flies, I hate flies because they awesome shit. Yeah. I think when, when a fly touch me, I get so mad. I'm like, oh, why does my guy touch me? Because all I think about is this dumb, this come off piece of shit just now. And oh. they're touching me. I'm like, oh, God, why are they touching me? And I don't like them because I, when they around me, I'm like, well, do I smell? Why are they on me? Like, <laughs> what, why are they by me? <laughs> do I smell like shit? Yeah, I'm, I'm like, like <laughs> yes, I'm like, what's going on? Get away. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> Remember the movie The Fly? Yes. The days? Yes. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's the worst. I just dislike that. Oh, lie. And even like, even like back in the days, going to your friend's house, they got flies, they got the thing hanging down from the ceiling, the thing that. I hate that thing. The flies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that thing. I think it's so disgusting. Yes. You have a thing in the middle of the ceiling with dead flies on this stuff. <laughs> it makes me cringe. Hey, Dimples. She says she don't know the topic, but she hate flies. <laughs> and fly paper. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, there we go. huh? I, I can't really see you because the comments was all on the on your face. So I'm trying to like bring it down. And stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I got it now. Okay. There we go. How's hey, that? Everybody. Yeah. Okay. Soon from now, we have more guests on. You know, and then they'll start calling us and be like, hey, I was there from day one. No, you wasn't, nigga. When? Right. He said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, our topic tonight is Do you know why you miss opportunities? Is it because you show up late? Mm. That's a, mm. a good one, right? Yeah. Yeah. People miss opportunities, yes. Of because being you late. Up late. Yes, yes, you know, yes. You arrive late at your destination, you know. You wake up late. Oh, let me snooze for an extra 15 right. minutes. Right. That 15 minutes, you rush in traffic like, ah, move out the way. Right, cursing ah. people out, cursing people out, and, you know, just going going through it because you woke up late. Like it's there for. Right. But, Yeah. I don't like, we used to discuss, I don't like to be late. I feel so like I'm such a lower person right? if I make it late to somebody or something or to an appointment or something. I feel less, less than a person, you know? Right. So I always like to be early. My mother always told me that be early to wherever you go. Even if you, if, even if you have to sit outside, it's not your car or whatever, yes. for half an hour, be there early. I mean, yes. like that is your first impression your only impression just to be there early so i'm your half an hour earlier yeah know? me too i'm your half an hour early person i don't like to rush when i rush i sweat i get anxiety mess up my outfit my makeup whatever i did <laughs> so i like to be early have enough time yeah a hundred percent and who wants to show up late somewhere like somebody like you know how you like oh um definitely late no nigga you are late looking disgusting looking stupid looking like who is this right you know like <laughs> no that's not fashion late. No. that's just late right it shows you know um no enthusiasm um no get up and go you know i, I really don't care you know yeah. you're gonna you're gonna give it to me anyway if i'm late or not mm -hmm. you know it kind of gives the attitude of i really don't care about you know about the position about where i'm going the invite you know the appointment because I showed up late. Yeah, and they're thinking about, oh, like, I want to make an impression. I, I want to walk in here late. The impression is walking in there early. Right. <laughs> That's right. the impression. That's where you make the impression. Yes. You know? But they, they say, oh, it's early. There too. Right. What Temple said. She said, do we miss opportunities or do they 
or do, or do they have them for other people and just had to go through the red tape? Do they have them for other people or just have to go through the red tape? Oh, that get there. Well, yeah, sometimes, sometimes, but I mean, me, I'm always, this is why I get up there, this is why I get there early, because I'm always confident that, um, well, listen, even if they put me through the red tape, I'm definitely going to be number one on their list because I got there early, I look good, I smell good, I showed up, I'm sharp, I'm bright, and I'm not really worried about um, the red tape because I feel like I'm going to come out that red tape. And they're going to be like, okay, Miss Miller, we want you back for a second interview. Or um, if I show up to a um, place this early like I did one time, me and my girlfriend, we was at the boat ride, they were still cleaning the ship. It was like, <laughs> uh, ladies, um, you can go to the bar because the ship is still being cleaned and... I got a free drink. They was like, oh, you're here early. I always have opportunities like that where something, things always work out when I show up early. Work out. The bartender gets to know you. Yes. Um, everybody else, wherever you at, gets to know you. Yes. And you either, like you say, you get free things sometimes. Yes. And, and other opportunities, you get invited elsewhere. Right. You there first. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Mm hmm Simple. Yeah. And I think you really do miss opportunities. Even um, it can be the smallest thing that people are like, oh, I don't want to go because uh, it's their party, it's their this, it's their that. Somebody can come there early. Yes. That you that you need to see or need to meet for whatever venture that you have, but they just stopping by early just to pay their respects. Right. And but you missed that opportunity because you was late. Because you was late. Yes. That's yeah, what I'm talking about. That's I'm right. Being there early. Yeah. Like if you're a model and a um, scholar come to some event, but they're there early, you know, you miss the opportunity because you came late. Right. So you won't miss that that model scholar or whoever he or she is. You know, you don't miss the opportunity, but somebody else got them because they was there early. They was there early, yeah. My mother used to always say, the early bird catches the worm. Yeah. Get up, get up, get up, get up, catch the worm, get, get up. You know, you got to go early. You have to be early. Be on time. Just like you said, your mother used to say, your mother said, sit in your car, sleep in the car. And me, if I got there early, I would call a friend, call my sister, call you and be like, yeah, girl, you know, I'm about to exactly. do whatever, whatever. I'm here early. Yes. <laughs> I think I'll talk to you for a minute. You yes. know. Right. And it makes you feel good no. because, you know, you have the adrenaline flowing because, you know, you woke up, you got it together. And you arrive at your destination early. It does. Yeah. And so you being there late, you stumbling with your bag, oh, 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 and you apologizing. Why, why are you apologizing? You, you already late. You late. <laughs> you know they say you can't be. They had they used to have this meme they used to put up and be like, "I'm late already. You can't be late twice." Yeah. My kids have an issue with time. It's their worst enemy. Yeah, my uh, child, too. My young adult, too. I don't know what they be doing. I love him. The devil. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> and then when he come out, I'm like, I don't see anything different. <laughs> You've been in there forever. <laughs> like, what is really good? You know, because I'm, 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 I'm like that with time. If, if Keisha says she's going to meet me on 34th Street at 8.30 a.m., I'm going to be there probably at 7 45, right? Yeah. Probably yeah. got me some coffee, whatever, whatever, whatever. Yeah. Meet you. Now, if Keisha ain't there and she ain't call and she ain't say nothing, I'm going to be highly upset. Yeah. I'm one of those people. You don't yeah. call, no call, no show. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. Something. It's Tell true. me something. Don't it's leave so me hanging. True. It's so true. Like my daughter, she takes forever all the time, taking a shower, doing getting skin. She takes like three hours just to get dressed. But. She be on time because she take that time, the three hours that she need. She go, she backtrack that. She take that. <laughs> She's always on time because even herself, like I told her, like, listen, being late is not good. You know, you can be walking up in a situation late. Right. Doesn't look good on you as a female, as a woman. Don't do that. You know. So she actually disliked being late. So sometimes when we got somewhere to go, she's like, "Oh, we only got such a sister. I'm like, "We can." Right. We can. Like, that's you, good. Now you're hounding me. I should be hounding you while being late. But that's good. She's a weird time. Yeah. You know, make her weird time. Time is so important. Like I tell people, all time is so important. And I don't like my time wasted. Time is money. Because why are you wasting my time? I could have been doing a hundred other things over here, something else over here, and you don't waste my time. And I can't get it back. You know, once that time is gone, it's gone, though. Time is very important. Oh, they say that about time. Yeah, very important. Very I love important, that. Very crucial. Yeah. 
you know. Yeah. And you know, we talk about the CPT, the color people, time, um, time and stuff like that. You right. Know? We talk about it, but it's it's not a joke for real, for real, because they look at us like being late all the time. Like, right. I'm, I'm a nigga late. You didn't say nothing. You know what I'm saying? They look at us as always being late. You know. So right. We have to, we have to actually like put a stop to that. Like, you know, be yeah. on time. We're professional. You know. Yeah. Be more professional. Be one time. One hundred percent. Yeah, because people. Walk up planning things an hour early because I'm in my guys. This is how I know. Yeah, I get somewhere early, and I'm like, girl, I thought you said the invitation said 8 30. She girl, girl, you know that CPC, I put that on there because you know I knew people do it arrive. I'm like, no, don't do that because see, I'm here all early. <laughs> <laughs> I always get caught out, caught out with that. It's so true. You know, it's so true. Yeah, <laughs> even when you're going somewhere. You, I, me, I, I want to be in the like front row. I want to see everything. I yeah, want to make too. sure that you know I'm seen and I see and everything. I hear all, all that stuff. So yeah, girl, I want to be in the front row. I'd be like, I'm short. I can't see. No matter where it's at, church people, they big hats, people with these big hairstyles and all of that. I can't see over. It, so I sit in the front because, like I was telling you, if I can't see, I can't hear. If I can't hear, I can't see. It's yeah. all connected. My senses yeah. is like. <laughs> <laughs> So I need to be in the front, front row for me. Yeah, it's true. It's I don't true. see and the back. People scared of a front row. Is like, oh no, let me be in the back row. Like, no, no. Mm -mm. I always say to them, I don't sit in the back. No, you we work too hard like to not be in the back. I don't sit in the back of nothing. No, no, back, no I nothing. Don't. I don't sit in the back nowhere. If I'm back there, it's because they didn't have no seats in the front. Yes, and yes. I, and I was one time. It's just that they 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 didn't want to give me no seats. <laughs> Because they probably think, oh, she just want to be in the front. No, yep. I can't see. I can't see. I'm sure. Like <laughs> to be moving around like this and like, oh, right. Uh, yes. Yeah. And that's so uncomfortable. Yeah. Very. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. but people need to be more organized to get like how you say too with the um, planning and you right. know so, you your your Apple Watch, your whatever watch you have. Right. How to stop showing up late? You know, plan at night. Everything at night. Yo, I prepare everything at night. I've gotten better now, like with the preparing at night. Mm -hmm. I'll even look up my route, mm -hmm. get my GPS. I know it's different at night because ain't no, nobody's right. on the road. Right. But but add, I know yeah. I can kind of get a, you know, yeah. a feel of what it's going to be like, you know. I get everything at night. My clothes, my food, what I'm eating, what I'm drinking, everything. Yes. Get it yes. all at night. My, my, sometimes I've even got a better way. I start getting makeup out too. Well, this color or whatever I'm aware, I try to have everything aligned so I just can go. Yeah. And Make life easier, mm -hmm. but people will always nit. Oh, are you so this and you so that and you so it to the team? You so no. It serves a purpose in life, yes. and it makes you. Be it makes you better at when it's time for you to go places and when you have to do things. You know, because you already have a, a routine. You know, you know that this is what you do whenever, like, for example, if someone tell me I have to be somewhere at 4 30 in the a.m. in the morning, most people would cringe and be like, oh, 4 30 a.m. I need, not me, because I already know, boom, I need to go to sleep at like 10 o'clock. Yes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I need to wake up like 2 30. You know, I need to just take a shower. My clothes is done at night. You yeah. know, so you, you, you plan yourself, yeah. you know, you plan accordingly. Yeah. yeah. And people that don't plan to me really just, I think they just, they just go downhill. They just wing it. Yeah. They just wing it. And you can't wing it all the time. Yeah, you, you know, I always life. say, <laughs> winging it is for the people who already know how to really do it. Then you can yeah. wing it. Because you can cut corners. You know which way and how you can do it. But otherwise, mm -hmm. you can't wing it. Yeah. And yeah. then you become lazy. That's that's just becoming lazy because then you miss your opportunities and you just don't go. You stop showing up. Right. And that yes. all goes down to that, that domino effect. Yeah, it, that, that's true. It goes downhill, so my mother used to say. It all goes downhill. <laughs> yeah, and then you start losing um, enthusiasm, you know. Yeah. You say, oh, well, forget this. This is not working. You know, and it's really not that it's not working. It probably would have worked out if you just would have, you know, took the time to apply yourself and, you know, make more effort to get there on time. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, that's really important. Okay, I did add you. Oh, yeah? Um. No, I'm talking. Hey, Dimples. You know, I can't I see you, right? I'm like, who's that on the... <laughs> you need glasses. I you need glasses. I said, who's that on the thing? <laughs> okay. 
Let me let me chime in with the the late the tardy aka late aka fashionably late nonsense. Okay. So I'm thinning out two years ago, two years ago I went to my I wanna say it's not my biological nephew, but I consider him my nephew because my girlfriend um who passed, she and I were really close. So we were like sisters or she called me her daughter or whatever. So they were they had a him and his girl had a what they call it that thing again? Not the not the gender reveal. What's that? The the Chris not the christening. What's the one before the christening? Baby shower. Uh, baby shower. They put on the on the invitation seven thirty. Mm-hmm. Right? Right. Me, a stickler for lateness. <laughs> is getting there at six o'clock or six forty-five. Right. I, I got there at six fifteen. Did you, did you know that the people were still decorating the place? And when I talk about decorating, it wasn't no put up a, a balloon here. They had a theme. It was a Jurassic Park kind of theme with big trees and dinosaurs and swings <laughs> and and me. And I don't remember who and I who and I went. I don't think it was me. It, me and Damani. Me and Damani. And we in the car. We like, I, I, Damani said, "Ma, is it around here?" So we couldn't. We didn't know where the place was. That's why. Me, that's another thing with me. If I don't know where I'm going, I'm getting a head yes. start. That's what I yes, said. Yes, yes. I'm you getting a head the, start. I say time for getting lost. Yes. Right. Yes. <laughs> what I said. What time I said? Seven thirty. She's put an invitation, right? right? Yeah. They were still decorating and whatever. We went back in the car. We sat down. Another hour pass, 8.30 come, we go back over there, they're still decorating. So I decided to go and join the decorating team. Either I'm going to help y'all decorate, get the food and whatever together. Well, food didn't come yet. At 9 o'clock, there was still there was no food. Oh nine o- Listen to me, 9 o'clock. You know what time she showed up with her grand entrance? At 1 a.m. in the oh. morning. No, I swear no. to you on my my father and my mother. She showed up at one o'clock. Before she made her entrance, I stopped. I said, let, I said, Talia, let me tell you something. When you invite me somewhere, please don't do that again. I said, I will never come to anything else you're going to have unless you are there and you call me and tell me that you're there. I said, I don't, I don't know wrong with you, you young people. Yeah. But this one o'clock nonsense is ridiculous. People they haven't eaten. People are sitting on getting anxious. When the food came, I jumped the line and I said, "Let me tell y'all something. I just want some food and I'm out." <laughs> I said, "No, sis. I swear to you, I stayed there till one o'clock, and by one thirty, we and the money and I were gone." Mm. I cussed that's her that's out, that's literally cussed that's her out. I went to her house and I said, do not let this happen to you again. I'm the, I'm just one person. Yeah. The place was full of people mm. and everybody was complaining yeah. and oh, yeah, yeah. they say it's coming and nobody here yet. You know what she said to me? She said, Charlene, I didn't know you were going to come at 7.30. But the invitation put on the invitation. <laughs> I said, are you serious? She's like, cause you know, Oh, you know, black people, nah. See, there, see, see, that, see, we gotta stop saying that. Yeah. We gotta stop, we gotta stop saying that. Yeah. You know what she didn't invite me to? The christening. I'm not, I'm not going. I'm yeah, not yeah. going to anything else unless you can tell me, guarantee me that it's gonna start on time and we're gonna leave on time. Right. And I don't play with that. <laughs> I heard to me, I heard Tamisha said something about a, a boat ride that you was early to. Yeah. That's me. Yeah, I was having the, still, the bar. Uh, I would do nothing. I would, and you and know what I didn't point. do? You know what I didn't do? I didn't pay. Right. Right. I, I didn't. I got on the boat for free because I was there. Yeah, yeah, I think that's what happens. That's I think that's saying. what happens yes. to us still, right? Yes. <laughs> we never, we never did anything. We just walked on because they were still cleaning and, and everything. Exactly. Yep. Mm-hmm. I've been to that's airports where I have my luggage be weighing like a hundred pounds. And I don't pay nothing. Because okay. I got there early. early. Yeah, when you there early, yeah, when you're there early, they take you yeah. when you get there. Yeah. The early bird catches the worm. Something so awesome. wrong with us. Because I don't know. Something wrong with us. Because these are some people who, if they're not rushing, they don't feel like they're doing something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't. I can't deal with that because you, your nerves get bad. You can get in an accident. You know, I feel like when I'm rushing, 
everything goes haywire. Yes, everything it goes, does. It goes downhill. So the old me don't do that. I schedule my time. I'm getting there early. I'm getting yeah. on time. I can make a phone call. I can even go get a water or something or whatever. Check the place out. Yeah. And when other people get there, I'll be telling them, oh, yeah, I've been here early. You know, I'm going to tell you the bathroom's over here, girl, and this is that. And that's the waiter over there. I've been known people. I know that person and everything like that. So I know, yeah. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I don't know if y'all saw what I posted, but I, I, go, I am supposed to be at work for 9 o'clock. That's my schedule, 9 to 5, right? Why am I work at 7.45 in the morning? At 8 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, yeah you too. <laughs> I, because ever since Damani was a baby, I, that's, that's our schedule. And I, and he's 19 now, and I have not, fin I haven't swayed away from that schedule. I get up at 4.30 every morning. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Where am I going at 4.30 in the morning? Yeah. You know what I do? I get my breakfast ready. I pack my bag. Yes. I do my little exercise. I do all that stuff. By 6.45, I'm at the door. Right. Why am I in the subway at 6.45? Why? Because my train is at 7 o'clock. And I'm going to be the beat Because right. I don't, don't have to run for train. Exactly. So you're more exactly. relaxed. You're not upset, angry at anybody. You're not blaming right. anybody for being And right. when I get to work rash. and I sit there until 9 o'clock, do not talk to me. You see me, but you don't like it. Like Tamisha said, that, in, that you see that imaginary door? and right. don't yeah, talk yeah. To me. I'm not here. I'm just here, but I'm not here until 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock. That's me. So I am true. sorry. Like I said, Coolidge chat, when we go anywhere, you know what he said to me? I, I wonder if he's on the line. He said to me, why you always got to open up everywhere? You got a key for everywhere. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not like you. you. He says, I said to him, I said, you always want to get there right on time. He said, that's the time that things start. No. So I <laughs> no. Before, man. Oh, man, you want to see everything, meet yes. people, meet people that's not even going to be there when people get there. Well, yep. we go anywhere, you know, and, and, and he's late. Well, he said he's not, he's not late. He's on time. And I'm upset. He goes, I don't know why are you upset. It, it, it starts at 7 o'clock. We're here at 6, at, at 6.59. We're late. <laughs> <laughs> Whichever way you put it, that's still late. That's late. Yeah, that's late. It's late. late. I can't. Like, Charlene was, was early to my mother's funeral. Now, how real is that? You know what I'm saying? Like, no one's right. going to a funeral now. You know and I saying? drove <laughs> from Brooklyn to there. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> you know, so that's, you know what I mean? You, you, you have you to, have to leave home for when you get lost. Because I'm a woman, I'm a female. I'm sorry, I'm not talking about every female, but I don't do directions very well. So I need to know where I'm going. If I get lost, if I get off the wrong exit, I need to. I, I got time to maneuver. I, that's yeah, me. That's, I'm sorry. Me too. I need that extra time because I will go around the block a couple of times and be like, okay, they meant to turn over here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I missed it. <laughs> Yep, so, mm -hmm. I know. Sometimes you still pass by, like, okay, yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> yep, but if you, you get there early, you have enough time to do that a few times yes. and still get to your destination. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> yes, that's how you miss opportunities a lot. Yeah, yeah. We right. do. We do, and we look bad not being early. We do, we do, because Karen then be early. Yeah. Because Vincent, no, I have to be early for everything. Like, don't hurt me. Like, we leave leaving early. I can be running around the house getting dressed for three hours. But <laughs> we gotta be time to go, I'm ready. Yeah, It's time to go. Yep, yeah. that's me. Because, you know, and then they look at you like, uh -uh. all right, calm down, slow down. Where, where, where you going? Listen, we got to get there. Yes. I got to find park. Yes. I don't know where I'm that's going. That's to parking, yes. I mean, I, I have a plaque, but that don't mean I'm going to abuse it. <laughs> I just want to find a proper parking well, that, spot. That has been that has been a, a big thing here because everywhere have parking lots, so we don't have to look for parking. You see, right? So it's easy yeah. down there. You just pull up into with the not in Brooklyn, not yeah, that Brooklyn, not in Queens. Not, yeah. When you go to Queens, yeah, everybody got look. I hate Queens. They have a driveway and they park it in the fucking street. You say it to me, Vincent. Yes. <laughs> Like, how dumb is that? All, all the time. How dumb is that? People do that all the time in Queens. You know I'm from Queens. Queens, girl. I know. Yep. <laughs> you have a 
Yeah, one time. Driveway, park, and take up the parking spot for the next yeah, one time. The driveway. And, then, and the parking spot is this small. <laughs> And then put a the cone. The parking spot. And then put a cone. And then put a cone. I'm like, wait a minute. Don't you got a driveway? You my girl, take the front two and put my a girlfriend cone. lives. My girlfriend lives in Jamaica, Queens, and she has a cone that she wore in she in her car. Yep. A cone. Take it out and put it there. Because mm -hmm. I used to get mad at people and be like, I'm gonna get out and run over their cone or kick their cone. Man, I mean, you I don't own the city cone, tree. You toss it somewhere. Yeah. And just pump she has a cone in front of her house. This is not She's your like, street. No. It don't belong to I said to her, I said, I said, so don't. Why you got a cone in front of your house? She goes, because it's my house. Anybody's supposed to park there. I said, but you have a driveway. Go in your driveway. You see? You see? And it's the city street. It's right. you know, the city owns it. But people put cones. <laughs> They own it. I black as white people too. I had this white one over here putting cones so I could just toss a cone out in the, in the damn you love into it. the damn bush. Don't play with me. It's not no white privilege going on over here. Don't play. <laughs> like, <laughs> don't play with me. Don't play with me. I've never asked you know you you know you're gonna get old. You know you're aging. Buy a house where you have a parking space so you can park in front of your house and walk into your house. Simple. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, go buy a new one. But you ain't you putting this you ain't putting this cone right here. This is a no no. <laughs> you know? And people so, do no. it like I don't and you know they get away with it. Yeah, they do. Some of them they do. do. They have a cone. And that goes when I said Tom Anderson on it. And, and have your own spot on time, their time frame. <laughs> right. I, I, I don't get that. Work and stuff like that. I, I don't get it. I don't but get it. I don't it. miss. I don't miss the spots. Well, I had a driveway, but before and just still in New York, I don't miss the hustle and bustle for spots, alternate side parking. People, it's just crazy. crazy. Yeah, get that that cone thrown in your face. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> alternate side parking. You know, I circled the block twenty times. Yes. <laughs> Double park. You see that? I've never had an issue with that. Which like, one? I can see, I can hear people stay outside for four hours just to find parking. I'm like, what? For parking? Yeah. Yeah, because that was in my neighborhood, too, because yeah. um, once they put meters on Jamaica Avenue, oh, yeah. before you could park yeah. over there for free. Free, yeah. And once they put the meters, people had to pay. So yep. they would drive around and around and around looking for parking spots where there was no meters, where they don't no have meters. to pay. Mm -hmm. And it could take... It could take you like four hours. Yes, or you can. Or you could sit at Hillside and have to walk back, back down back, to Jamaica Avenue. Yeah, to Jamaica Avenue. Yep, yeah. Like, I, I'm sorry. I couldn't park my car that far. I just wouldn't be able to be comfortable. Yeah. My, my car is only on Hillside. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. I I just I just uh, let the money do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> if he's home, he can, he can sit in the car until the... Just... And, 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 and the funny thing is, sometimes the sweeper don't even come. Why are we moving really? from home? Yeah, they don't. What they, they do is they hold the spot. So they take the Long Island Railroad, or they take the train, and they keep the spot for like the weekend or whenever. Really? Yeah, yeah you ain't know that. <laughs> they no. be on the train. You be, they be on, on the train. train. They hold those spots. They be on the wow. Long Island Railroad or go, or the regular Iron Horse. Go into Manhattan and they hold them spots. Yep. Hey, wow. that's, that's why I would never drive to Manhattan. I don't drive to Manhattan. I would never drive to work. I don't care if they're giving it away for free. I would never <laughs> drive yeah, to work. You. I wouldn't either. Long Island Railroad all the way, Iron Horse, whichever way. But no, I, I'll no take ride. the Iron Horse. I'll take that. It's like only 45 minutes away. It's okay. I don't have to cuss nobody. I'm, I'm good. Because that Brooklyn Bridge, that's a parking lot. Brooklyn Bridge is just like the BQE. Yeah, it, it's no yeah. different. Yeah. You'll be there forever. Forever. Eat your lunch, dinner, everything in there. <laughs> <laughs> like King's County. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, sis, thank you so much, y'all. <laughs> thank you for coming. You're away. welcome. I'll be listening. All right. All Good right. night. All right. <laughs> What's next? That's so good. Yeah. So, so we're just going to run down um, a few things that's going to run down for you guys again. How to stop showing up late. So you want to prepare at night. Get everything together at night. Set your schedule. Know what time you need to be. Have your food. Have your drinks. Your clothing. Iron your clothes. Do everything at night. So in the morning, the only thing you're doing is getting up, 
taking a shower, getting something to eat, using the bathroom, your regular morning routine, and boom, grabbing your stuff and you out the door. Sidebar, I used to do that when I was a teenager in my 20s, you know, get your clothes out at nighttime. Yes. Like, in the morning, change your whole outfit again. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> That's funny, right? Mm -hmm. Because we tend to dress how we yeah. feel. Yeah. And then the weather comes into it later. Yeah. Like you have this feeling and then you look outside and you say, oh, dog, this outfit's not going to wet, you know, say, work yeah. with what the weather's going with, but you <laughs> want it to look this way. And your yeah. parents just don't understand when you roll up when you do those things. <laughs> no, no, they don't. <laughs> nope. But yeah, that's good. Go ahead. What's other reasons? Cause oh, yeah. So um, yeah, prepare at night. Make sure you have all your stuff together. Even look at your route. You know, um, if you're driving, I, I will put my route inside my phone for the map. So basically, when I get to my car in the morning, boom, it's already there. I just hit drive. Yeah, my husband <laughs> does that. Vincent does that too. He does that at nighttime. Make sure you see where he's going and stuff like that. And yes. Like, yes. Over there. All right, cool. Mm -hmm. I kind yep. of Just get it all together. I even pick, I even pick out my gym clothes and stuff. Daryl said, "Stay tuned. He's going to take a video of show y'all how I do all this stuff <laughs> to get ready for the gym, and then come back home and take another shower and do it all over oh, again." Damn. I said to him, yeah, yeah, because that's my routine. If I'm leaving the house, I have to wash, you know, I have to get dressed, I have to do that. That's a routine. You yeah. know, it's part of who I am, you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I feel that everything done at night will just work out better for, for all of us, you know? Do it at night, prepare yourself, and, you know, watch your time. Yeah, watch your time. Hey, man, you can't keep laughing because he know I'm telling the truth. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I do the same thing. <laughs> he be around. I be like, what you doing? Oh, all right, I know it's like he's to go right here. <laughs> right, I do that too. I mean, sometimes, I mean, sometimes I even pulled it up and look at the building and <laughs> see where it's at, you know? Just so I know where I'm going. I'm in tears, yo. <laughs> yeah, it's so true. Yes. Oh, man. So, yeah, get your life. <laughs> He got his life because he googling where he got to go to the building. And all that, so. <laughs> <laughs> he's good. Yeah, that's so what we got to we got to get our life right. Yeah, 100%. get it together, and it just makes you better. Yeah, you know, it just makes you better and makes your speed quicker, and then you just get better at doing whatever you have to do to get out the house because sometimes it's so hard to get out the house, you know, especially if you don't have a routine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you going around in circles, like trying to get out the house. Right. Trying to get out. And then you you just getting tired. Right. Going around in circles. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, shoot, I forgot this. Oh, I forgot this. Oh, I forgot that. <laughs> That's why that Tesla car wouldn't work for me. Oh, my goodness. Did I tell you about that car Adonis is driving? What Girl. happened? The charger? You have to charge it like every hour on the hour. Really? The crap like that. Hey. He was like, I'm so tired of this stupid charging this stupid car. And I just started dying laughing because I was like, I know I couldn't deal with that. I don't have time to be See? sitting away for no car charge. That's the time right there. Yeah. Waiting for the car to charge. Really? Yeah. <laughs> he he ain't take it back? Not yet. He's going to take it back, I guess, when he leave, you know. But nah, that's I one thing. That. Nah. <laughs> you have to have one at home. You have to have one at your house. Mm -mm. A charging port, but if not, you just see people sitting around, sitting around charging their car, <laughs> wasting time. Wasting time. I said this couldn't work for me. <laughs> I would have so much anxiety. I would be mad all the time because I have to charge this car. Yeah, that's that's, only... that's that's when planning really comes into play because you got to plan yes. to charge. You your have car to plan to charge your car. Out. You have to put that in there. Yeah. <laughs> the only good thing about the car is that it saves you five hundred dollars on gas a year. That's all you spend is five hundred dollars a year. Wow. That's, That's it. the only I mean <laughs> compared to your time? Yeah. I mean Yeah. <laughs> right. So you gotta weigh it out. You yeah. know what you like? Time or save gas. <laughs> you know? Time for me, time. So time, that all day time. Right. So that car don't work for me. Oh my god. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> What else we got going on today? Oh my gosh, the 840. I know. Oh, wow, that was cool. I got tears in my eyes. Yes, you got tears yeah. in your eyes. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. I was going fast. Yeah. yeah. Cracking up. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. <laughs> so who we have as our sponsor? Oh, um, King Heartbeats NYC for your entertainment needs, for all your party needs. He goes everywhere. Trust me. Check him out on Instagram, King Heartbeats NYC. He does parties, um, galas, events, even um, beats for like artists and stuff. Oh, that's nice. reggae yeah. artists, hip hop artists, you know. So, and he's dope. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying that just just cause you know I know him or I know of him. He's dope. He is dope, and he's always on time. <laughs> oh, that's a big thing. On time. I love to work with people who are on time. I love that. Yeah, on, on time. time. <laughs> yes. So what we have going on this week? What's going on? Um, nothing much. Um, I mean, you know, I don't have my book in front of me or nothing, you know? But, um... Oh, so yeah, you just winging it today. Yeah, did you hear about the, um... About the Alpha Phi, Alpha whatever in Florida? They stopped their, um, yearly thing. Yes. The yearly event because of DeSantis. They I stopped did. that. So now Florida lost like 800 something million dollars, something like that. I heard about that. I was. I said, "Oh wow, that's so sad." Yeah. So, like, what's gonna happen now? I mean, do he care? Like, I don't care. That's nigga money. Like, I mean, like, do he care? I guess he don't care. But the people here, they care because they, they want the event. Yeah, because the people want the event. They do. Okay. Yeah, they want the event. You know, it's not that the people don't want it. It's just them canceling everything because for him, you know, because of, because of what's going on, you know. I mean, but how are other people? people down there like we hear what he's saying and everything like that but how did people be acting towards what he's saying well nobody you don't really have no conversation about that down there. really okay. no no because okay so the people that i talk to which of a of course a black a lot of black people they say well you know they're thinking about leaving florida in the next years couple of years or whatever if the santis is still in you know mm. because you know it's really disheartening for them to say that you know uh black people have you know, did what learn something from slavery? Like it helped. Yeah, that. So Yo, that, that has been a crazy. big. That has been a big thing down here. Really? Yeah, that's a really big thing down here. You know, nobody's liking that. It's all over the news. It's everywhere. You know, all over. That's everywhere. And even even in New York, because we watch. I watch New York news still, and we watch Florida news. I watch. Right. We watch news all over. So that's a big thing everywhere. The fact that he's that they're saying that. Even the white like, folks, like how do the white folks feel? Even the white folks as well down there. In yeah, some. Well, you know, you're gonna always have yeah, that. Some besides people the other ones that feel their way, but right, majority, exactly. like most of them. Exactly. Mm. So you know, everybody's different, different views. Yeah. You know, because everybody yeah. feel the way he feel, and, yeah. and some people do feel that way. You know, and then some people just don't know. When you come to find out, and you really get to learn, if you have any Caucasian friends or you have any Caucasian family members and stuff, they really don't know about it. It's true. <laughs> they really don't know. It's true. And so, you know, what I, I say, I always say, me and Dara always talk about this, you know, everything that's done in the dark must come to the light. It's yeah. going to come one day. It's going to happen. But, always but say that, yes. you pack up a bus of people and take them to the African American Museum in Washington, D.C. Yeah. And it's yes. so many things. You can just go down here to Atlanta, Georgia, and you can find out. Yeah. There's so many places that you can go to find out about the real deal slavery, That's all true. you know? And I feel like it's bad because you don't want, they, what it is is that they don't want their children to know like their great grandfathers and stuff was like slave owners and stuff. You know, like but there's a lady down here on the news. We knew that we, that we were slaving, so why they can't know that we were slaving for them? Exactly, like there's a lady down here on the news. I always make jokes. I always, Dara, I always make jokes because her last name is Cotton. I was like, well, you know how? <laughs> You, I was like, well, you know her family, you know, they own a cut in the cotton, cotton fields or something like that or whatever, because her last name is Cotton. So they don't want their forefathers, they don't want their people to know that their forefathers had that stuff. You can't keep them from it because what's going to happen is these children are going to grow up and they're going to hate you. Yeah. And they're going to have hate against you. They're going to feel some kind of way against you because you didn't tell them the truth. Yeah. You should not do that. You can't withhold you stuff like that. Can't. So that's the argument oh. down here. Okay. Yeah. That's the argument down here. Wow. Because they want to put in the textbooks. The textbooks. They want to put it in the school, in the curriculum. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's bad. Because they're basically teaching that slavery, black people benefited from slavery. That's what they want in the textbooks. That's what they want to teach. Wait, wait. 
Instead of saying that, he wants to put that in the textbook as well? Basically, because they're leaving out. I mean, basically, if you leave out all the stuff that happened and you only put the the so-called what no. could be good stuff in there, you're basically saying that, what, I, what none of this really happened? I mean, what are you saying? Because they, no. they, they want to leave out the real story, you know? Like, my mother went to Robert E. Lee High School, you know? We wow. all know who Robert E. Lee was, things like that. They want to leave out all of the, the stuff that the, the children need to know, basically. Wow. Yeah. Who's that? Hi. Hi. <laughs> Did you come on to speak? No. What? Did you come on to speak about the topic? Mm, no. Okay. Okay. Mm. Thank you. Okay. Okay, I turn one. Yes. Can you do that for me? Um, I don't know. Huh? Okay. <laughs> I guess that was typical difficulties because he didn't say anything. Was he in a different country? Yes. Yes. <laughs> That's why we're spammer. Yeah. He seemed two black yeah, beautiful women. Was... Like, who are those two black beautiful women on there? Let me see who they are. And he's going like this meaning beautiful oh that's that's what he was doing i can't see anything and now he's in my thing hey 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 i'm gonna have to take it off oh later. yeah he's he's blocked yeah yeah <laughs> come get him Vince. come get him Darryl. <laughs> <coughs> let me tell you one night i met somebody at the gym the guy brought some juices for me and he has other friends from other countries and I just kept getting eggplants all night, eggplants all night, like two, three, four, five o'clock in the morning. Eggplants, 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 eggplants. It was driving me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's deaf. She said he thinks he's deaf. That's why he had the ear things on. So why he timing it? Oh, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. No. We won't see him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's good. That's good. That's good. Well. At least he can see. Yeah, he can see. You know? And that's good that we have um, someone coming on. Yeah. You know, because we would like for people to come on and join sometimes. So that was good. But next time talk. Yeah, someone. Yeah, guys, come on if you're really going to talk. Yeah. <laughs> Don't be afraid. We don't right. bite you. We all over here in the camera. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, wow. So let's move yeah, right that into. Was crazy. And even that um thing. <clears throat> The black girl who was who faked her kidnapping, <laughs> yo, she went through the whole nine, y'all. She had all <laughs> the time and energy in the world to fake the whole kidnapping. Why? But why? Yeah. And they and they try to say that they should blame the parents. She's a grown ass woman. Blame who? No, what? don't blame the parents. Blame her. Find out what's wrong with her. Yeah. Call her. She needs someone. You know, something is going on. Why would you do that? She needs attention. I think she's like a nurse or something like that, where she needs attention, something. Something okay. is wrong. She needs attention, but yeah. That's necessarily, not really, because people, yeah. I don't want people just to say that she has a mental problem, because it's not always a mental problem. People just, just do dumb things. They put everything as a uh, mental problem these yeah. days. Okay, listen, people also like to get on TV. Let's yeah, not exactly. forget that. People like to be in the limelight. And if they will do some things sometime to be in the limelight to get attention. Well, and the way the happens. world is today, you can do anything and they'll have you in the limelight. Yep, whether it's good or bad. Yep, so that's just crazy. That's Too terrible. much time and energy wasted. She needs things to do. Her parents, well, she's grown. She needs to get some yeah. activities. Something. She got a whole lot to do because she's, she's a nurse. She could work, I mean, write fiction books. Maybe she needs to do <laughs> mysteries. Write mystery books or something. I don't know. Hook up with Amazon and put out some books, girl. <laughs> mystery. And that was the first one. Faking your own kidnapping. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. The second one, how they caught up with me. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Oh my goodness. That's how he played. Yep, that's nah. so funny. So we heading into because it's eight fifty. Let's head into our feed your soul. Oh man. Yeah. Yes. So feed your soul. Look ahead. Go wing it. Okay. The best part about life is every morning you have a new opportunity to become a happier and better version of yourself. Yeah. That is what I always think of too when I wake up in the morning. Like, if I don't get it right today, I have Tuesday, I have Wednesday, I have Thursday to strive again to work on these areas to get it right. And don't be discouraged. Right. Don't Even be discouraged. Even in the mix of it, like, don't be discouraged because right. they're doing that for a reason. Yes. So you can't be discouraged. Right. And when you know that reason like that, when you like, he should say you're doing it for a reason, you hold on to that reason because that's what I do. I hold on to that reason so that no matter what comes my way that may try to discourage me, that reason stays at the head in the forefront of it all. And I know that's why I'm doing it. And it doesn't happen overnight. Nope. And guess what? It takes time. Yes. <laughs> it does. It takes time. You know? Yep. Well, and, well, yo, you don't have one, huh? No, well, time is of the essence. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that is so true. Yeah. Time is of the time essence. Time is of the essence, so make it work for you. Yes, make your time work. <laughs> yep, and the word of the week is improve. Oh. Improve. Improve in all areas. You can improve in all areas of your life. You can make minor adjustments and minor changes. Yep. We, yep. we all can need some improvement. You know, some tweaking every now and then yeah. and um, find out, you know, take, I like to say, take a notice of the areas that you need improvement in or that you can work to do a little bit faster or change the way you may do it, do it, you know, go about it a different way. Chores, errands, children, husbands, <laughs> you know, <laughs> we both laugh, <laughs> right, <laughs> improve. You know, and make it work for you. Because I always say, whatever I'm improving, I'm going to make it work for the both of us, and I'm also going to make it work for me. That's right. Yes. That's right. That makes sense. Uh, mm -hmm. man, thank you for joining us today on the Snazzy Lifestyle Podcast. We appreciate you. Today is Sunday. You still have, what, three more hours left? <laughs> yes. So plan your day for tomorrow. Don't forget to follow um, T. Miller, Heal by Self, INC, Novi Essentials. Um, King Heartbeat NYC, Brooks Media Group. Follow us. We're out here doing what we have to do for you guys. Keisha B. Tamisha Miller. Of the Snazzy Lifestyle Podcast. See you guys soon. Bye. Bye.